Hey YouTube, we're going to be doing, uh, if you don't know me, I'm Subatana4. Uh, my last video did really good on the Mox John uh, William Dummy Trini of a small ideals um, form for self defense. Um, I'm going to teach where I left off on my form. Um, basically, it's just something I've been doing drills over and over. I'm just trying to create my own form. It's part two of the form. Like, here's what we have. When we stopped at the block punch, or known as the block, the block pump strike. But after that, we're gonna end up, after we do the block punch strike together, we're going to do a high block. We're going to do another punch. Punch to the face. And then we're going to grab back behind the head. Elbow. And then after that, then we're going to knee. And then after the block, same thing on the other side. <clears throat> That's how you do it. So it's on me. Boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Again, low ball, low ball strike, then parry, punch, punch. Grab back behind the head, elbow, and we're on the knee. And then, do the footwork to move out of the way. If, like, say, if he tries to throw a kick, you can turn around and block it, punch to the groin. He decides to throw a punch while he's going down, then you block it, boom, boom. Grab it behind the head, boom, then knee to finish them off. Again, low block into high outer block, punch, punch, elbow, knee. Step over, same thing from the other side. Low block, punch, block, punch at the same time. Punch, elbow, 
and then the Sorry about not having a whole lot of room to do this, but uh, what am I? Low block, high block, back behind the head, head grab after two punches. Then we want to elbow to the face. Then we're going to knee to the knee to the groin. Or to the ribs, stomach, wherever your knee wants to go. Same thing on the other side. Again, low line, punch, high block, reverse punch, reverse punch, grab back right behind the head, elbow to the face, knee to the gut or groin. You can add a double knee into it. You want to add a double knee, it'd be more like this. Low line block punch. High block punch. Elbow. Knee. Knee. Same thing to the other side. Boom. 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 That way you can hit him on the side of the rib, or you know, if you can miss the rib, you can turn around and hit him in the gut or the groin area. Um, wherever you want to hit it, you can always do a double knee as well. First knee doesn't strike, you can hit him with the other knee. So, there you have it. Part two of the a small ideal form. Um, Mug Shong to do some training on if you don't have a partner. I've used this thing over the years for my training. Um, it's helped me out a lot. Plus, you can know, um, good for hardening forearms. You know, if you want to do iron forearm training, You know, kind of like do the iron forearm conditioning. Basically, I call it the iron forearm training. Um, you can do that on it. <laughs> That's another drill I do. 
mostly I just do hand striking drills. I never really do any kicking drills. I maybe mean, once in a while I might add a kick into it, but I really don't use it for kicking. But mostly just hand drills, you know, I work on my pontoon again um, from Filipinos and martial arts or um, basically into my boxing, keep ready into my boxing. So there you have it, um, Mok Chong and Dummy Training. Hope you enjoy it. Um, hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. You'll get every one of my videos. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.